today. We're going to start our film series over the 2025 Nebraska commits. And the guy we're looking over today might be the most hyped up Nebraska D-line prospect we have seen in some time. Tyson Terry, not only a prolific pass rusher, but a guy who's a three-time wrestling state champion as well. And a lot of people are expecting for him to be the next big thing for this Blackshirt defense. So without further ado, if you like the content, please hit like button on this video. It really helps me out along with subscribing to the channel if you don't want to miss out on the best Nebraska football content on YouTube. But without further ado, let's get into Tyson Terry's film. All right, so this is his best highlights over his junior year of high school. Again, he has one more year this upcoming fall, and then he will be a Nebraska Cornhusker. So let's get into it. As always, it's the first time I'm watching this as well. Again, number 54. So he plays a lot of DN in this Viking defense, and right there, oh, does a great job to get back in the play and track down a streaking wide receiver that's a hard hard move by a big man like him listed about 280 and again like i mentioned at the start of the video not only does he play football he plays wrestling three-time state champion that's something that matt rule and tony white they love to see um, throughout their football commits oh my goodness you could see that basically the the wrestling background right there with that tackle that was ferocious he drug him down Give that one more look. That's incredible. So they're trying to go to the bull rush. Didn't win the rep. But again, just the hustle to get back in the play and make an open field tackle. So that's something that we're going to want to watch throughout these clips. His technique, especially getting to the quarterback. Does he have a swim move? Does he have a spin move or a bull rush, right? We're going to have to watch that. Again, does he have a couple of tricks in his bag? Because a lot of times, that was a nice bull rush. A lot of times... These prospects, these D-line prospects, they only have about one move because it works consistently at the high school level. But you want to see, again, them have that ability um, to go deep in their bag to get to the quarterback. So right there was a good bull rush. And there, it's quick swim. Quick swim move. Almost gets to him. And then, again, wow, does a great job. They almost try to double team him there. Nobody was blocking him, and he laid the boom. So Tyson Terry, I will say this, a little bit undersized at that D-line spot. Again, about 6'1". I, he's listed at 6'2". He's more about 6'1". But I will I will say his frame is spectacular. That's nothing I would worry about. Uh, we've seen a lot of undersized linemen come to Nebraska and be all American, so there, that's no problem. So they're at that edge rusher spot. Again, just a good job staying in the play. Beautiful, beautiful play. Read that to perfection. We'll give that one more look. Again, being double teamed at the start just keeps chipping away and gets to the, the ball carrier. Sorry, Dan Daniel Kalen there at quarterback. And gets to him. That, that might have been Will Anderson for Bobby West. I could be wrong, but it was either, you know, I, I think it was Daniel Kalen. Going to the bull rush, gets off the block, trying to track down the man. Yeah, it's just great vision, too, from a big man to just stay in the play. A lot of times, these defensive linemen, if they lose the rep initially, they give up. Again, this is a good rep. I'm glad he put this in here despite the fact that he didn't really make a play. But look, we'll look at the pocket collapsing, and then Kalen has no choice but to run. And then it has to run out of bounds for a loss. Tyson Terry single-handedly blew up that play. And a lot of players, again, they don't put that on their highlight reel, but that was phenomenal. Great bull rush. And one thing I love about Tyson Terry, again, the fact that he is a little bit smaller height-wise, he has such a great stature. He has a great flexibility, uh, low, lower center of gravity, gravity, which means he can make some plays and stay on his feet, which is, again, very important at that D-line spot, rushing to the quarterback. But just watching these clips, he's just such a pred and such a handful that again, they're trying to double team about every single rep, and he's still making noise. I wish we see, we have a little bit more of um, 
about two or one technique throughout this. He's only he's basically playing about three or four technique in every single one of these clips. He's going to play, I'd say, one technique, two technique at Nebraska. So you'd want to see a little bit more experience at D-tackle, but it's nothing I'd worry about. Yeah, so right there, I was four technique. And, oh, I don't know if he poked that ball free or what, but I will say that these camera angles, not great. That's what you get from high school football. Nice stop at the goal line. Again, beautiful read. Keep your eyes downfield. Read option. Get right to the running back. I will say, I wish we'd see a little bit of his offensive line highlights. I actually, I know for a fact he played offensive line in his sophomore campaign. Um, I don't know if he played it in his junior campaign at all, but I want to see that versatility, that his ability to play on both sides of the ball. A lot of times that translates well to the next level. We see that all the time from Nebraska offensive line and defensive line commits. Ooh, we'll go back to this clip. So... Not too many Miller South highlights. I watched, I've only watched Tyson Terry play one time in person, and that was this game. I'm the Miller South play by play guy. Um, so this was the second round of the state playoffs. Miller South won. I think it was 48 0 was the, was the final score. So Tyson Terry did not make too many plays in this ball game, but I don't, I don't think he recorded a tackle, but this was a nice play to get up. Oh, well, there's the tackle. So that was a nice play again to get to the running back, stay in the game, stay in the play. But something I want you to watch out the remaining parts of these clips is just the presence that he brings on that D-line, um, the worry that the opposing O-line has to bring to him. They're basically doubling him on every single play. And it just shakes off that block and gets to Nolan Fellow, the running back. I, I Again, I, I'll save my all of my thoughts until the end where we go over the analysis. But, I, again, I would want to see a little bit more technique. I, I saw a swim move, a bull rush a couple times throughout here, but most of it's just bull rush. He's trying to power his way to the quarterback. You want to see a little bit more technique again, a little bit more. Oh, nice play. But some more tricks in his bag is my point. So a couple, couple left on here. Once again, just nice job to just shed that block, get to the ball carry. He's very quick. Again, he has really great eyes, great vision, just sniffs out the football. Those are the type of traits that he can't exactly teach, especially from defensive linemen, and that's something that he has. So that is his high school highlights. Real quick, I want to get to some of his highlights from the Gretna game, which is the first round of the playoffs. All right, let's just go over these clips real quick. Watch out for number 54 for Omaha North. And shout out to my guy, Huskers Film, on Twitter for hooking me up with these clips. So let's get into it. Okay, nice quick move, gets the ball here. I will say he's a lot more polished in the run game than he is in the pass pro. But once again, just keeps those legs churning, gets to the football. And he just, look at the pocket collapse there. Look at the pocket collapse. I don't know if that was a, I think it was a design quarterback draw, but he was going nowhere. And once again, just swarming to the football. Pocket collapses real quick. Gets the ball carrier once again. Almost got a handle that football. These clips are going by pretty quick. I think, I think they show this at the start of the, of the highlights we looked over before, but again, just the ability, he lost the rep initially and then just gets to the football and screen pass and just lays the boom, lays the boom. Being held, being held, and still gets arm around him. Same quarterback design and gets back to the football. He doesn't ever give up on the play, ever. All right, so those clips went by really, really quick, but just wanted to gloss over them because again, that was a huge game. Omaha North won that playoff matchup first round. Uh, he played very spectacular. So let's get into my takes and opinions over 
three-star prospect Tyson Terry. All right, let's just start it off with the pros. What did I see out there from Tyson? Starting off, again, really, really solid frame. Yeah, he's a little bit undersized at about 6'1", 6'2", but you can already see with how well he's built, a lot of good weight on him, and then just finds a way to get to the football. Um, just has that high motor that again, keeps turning the legs. Just a game wrecker. The pocket collapses. The opposing offensive line has to bring so much attention to him. So those things I really love by Tyson Terry. As for him in the pass pro, again, he has a really good bull rush move, and a lot of times that's what these bigger guys like to go to consistently because they're so strong, they're so big, where it works almost about every single time. Um, besides the bull rush, we didn't see too much other moves from him. We saw a swim move one time. Um, we didn't see any spin moves. We didn't see basically anything else. So something that he's going to want to develop. But again, if he's playing interior for Nebraska, a lot of times these nose tackles don't really pull out the swim move that much because they're being double teamed, which brings me to my second point. I would have liked to see him play a bit more uh, of one technique Zero technique for Omaha North, obviously. We basically saw none of that. He played a lot of DN. Again, that's fine. Not really a big deal. Hopefully, he gets some more experience throughout his senior year um, inside as a real D tackle. But something I thought I mentioned, but I think he's a really good prospect, guys. Probably not a four star, but a very high quality three star. And just because of his wrestling background, we know he's a pure athlete. And again, he's a guy who's committed to Nebraska since the beginning. I believe he was Nebraska's second commit throughout the process. So a guy who's loyal, wants to stay in state and Nebraska in state talent guys is just getting better. So keep your eyes out on Tyson Terry throughout his senior year of high school. Uh, again, we're just starting off with the 2025 series, but really, really good film from Terry. Again, he's staying with Omaha North and hopefully he has a big year for the Vikings and he's going to make a name for himself as a black shirt so let me know if, what you thought about tyson terry down below or some parts of his game that you, he liked um some things maybe he needs to work on on uh, everything else again leave that down below make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and as always folks go big red go matt rule and see you in the next one